for Ethiopia or Malawi if they wish to keep their very slim hopes of qualifying alive. It looked like the Flames might be the ones to take the lead as Kanga forced a brilliant save from Seed Abtam Arigawi. The replay showing just how good this save was. He down with a good pass and the drop of the shoulder there. Excellent that left hand. So, so good. Ethiopia responded almost immediately. The Walia Ibex with a dangerous ball. Makne coming in. But Dennis Chimbese with a really good block there to deny Mark Nair, who was certainly one of the best players for Ethiopia in the game. <laughs> a dangerous header by Chimbese. Had that one been on target, it would certainly have ended up in a goal. But the Flames really pushing in the first half. In the second, Ethiopia coming forward. Belai putting the ball on the platter for Makne and his shot. A little too central. Good save in the end by Brighton and Tali, yes. But it's all about the build up here, the step overs, and then the cross, which is inch perfect, you have to say, for Makne. In the end, it didn't hit the back of the net. Belai once again involved as he raced through stepovers and this time forcing Montali to come out and claim the ball. But giving Sanudi down that right flank a lot of problems. The only opportunity for Malawi in the second half, Mwasi's head up, stopped by Abitamu. Final score, nil-nil. Ethiopia and Malawi knocked out of the qualification race for Cote d'Ivoire 2023. It is Egypt and Guinea who will go through to the main draw.